and welcome to our lesson on negative indices. So we're going to simplify expressions written with a negative power. To do this, we need to consider the division rule of indices, where we have x to the 3 divided by x to the 5. The division rule tells us we subtract the powers because the bases are the same. So x to the 3 divided by x to the 5 simplifies to make x to the negative 2. If we consider this as a fraction, we can see the same solution in a different format. We have x to the 3, which is x cubed, divided by x to the 5, which is x multiplied by itself 5 times. And we can simplify this fraction by dividing both by x, and again, and again. So we're left with 1 divided by x to the 2. So we have x to the negative 2 and 1 over x squared. So x to the negative 2 must be equal to 1 over x squared. And we can define this relationship as x to the negative a is equal to 1 divided by x to the power of a. And it is this rule that we're going to use in this lesson. Okay, so we begin with question A. We have 2 to the power of negative 1. The negative power means it is 1 divided by 2 to the power of 1. 2 to the power of 1 is 2, so it simplifies to make 1 half. Question B, we have 3 to the power of negative 1. The negative power means it is 1 over 3 to the 1. 3 to the power of 1 is 3, so it is 1 over 3. Question C. We have 4 to the power of negative 2. The negative power means it is 1 over 4 squared. And 4 squared is 16, so it simplifies to make 1 over 16. And for question D, we have 5 to the power of negative 3. The negative power means it is 1 over 5 cubed. 5 to the power of 3 is 125. So it is 1 over 125. Okay, let's try some more questions. You want to try and simplify each of these expressions yourself by pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready. Okay, for question E, we have 5 to the power of negative 1. We know the negative means it is 1 over 5 to the 1. And 5 to the power of 1 is 5, so it simplifies to make 1 fifth. Question S, we have 2 to the power of negative 3. The negative means it is 1 over, and we have 2 cubed. 2 to the power of 3 is 8, so it simplifies to make 1 eighth. The question G, we need to simplify the expression using the multiplication rule, where we add the two powers. So we have 2 to the power of 3 add negative 5. 3 add negative 5 is negative 2. So we have 2 to the power of negative 2. The negative power means it is 1 over, and it is 2 squared. And 2 squared is 4, so it simplifies to make 1 quarter. And finally, the question h, we have a to the power of 4 divided by a to the power of 6. The division rule tells us we subtract the powers because the bases are the same. So we have a to the power of negative 2. The negative power tells us it is 1 over a squared. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.